Neil, what's your assessment of that game today, a 2-2 draw? I think it's one of the best, if not the best, 45s that I've seen. You know, I thought first half were absolutely sensational. You know, I challenged them before the game in terms of our levels against Arsenal on Sunday here uh, to go again and improve because we want to keep getting better. Uh, and we certainly did that first half. It was a real template for us moving forward. You know, I thought we were incredible first half. In possession, we were really good. You know, we really hurt them with that new system we've been playing recently. Uh, we dominated the ball, but we were really creative as well. And we made countless opportunities. You know, I think their goalkeeper was sensational with the first three saves in the first 10 minutes. And then we've hit the post five times in the match. So I think that tells you the level of creativity. Uh, and the only disappointing factor is not when we're 2-0 up to go 3-0, 4-0, 5-0. Please with how the goals came about, another one for Aaron and then one for Ryan, a good individual effort. Yeah, listen, as I said, they were really inventive, playing with a lot of freedom at the top end of the pitch. Yeah, Aaron with another goal, uh, which is also pleasing for, for our strikers. And, and as I said, we, we went on and from there and we were just, we were just excellent first half. And what did you make of the, the second half particularly? I think we didn't do the basics of defending second half well enough. You know, at times when it just has to be cleared, we didn't clear our lines. You know, we have a real definitive way of playing and a real style of play. But at times when you're one v one scenario at the back and you have to clear it, you just clear it. And we didn't do. We were a little bit fuzzy in our defending second half. And obviously with the number of changes that were made throughout that 45 minute period, it became a little bit disjointed. And we certainly weren't anywhere as good second half as we were first half. But over the course of the last four days, and, and in particular the last three, four matches, the level of performances has been outstanding. In terms of Sheffield as an opponent, they certainly made it difficult for you. It was a physical test, wasn't it? Definitely. I mean, I'd obviously watched them going into it, and they brought what they were second half a little bit more, that more aggressive style of play, you know, very much like the first team, the way they play in that 3 5 2 setup. Uh, but as I said, we loosened that off first half and in possession, we were totally dominant and, and, and should have been out of sight. Second half, as I said, became a little bit disjointed and always, as always, there's ways to keep improving. Uh, and we'll do that whether it's with our group or the number of trialists that we're in here. We keep looking to improve them individually and as a team. You weren't far off getting a win. I think Lockie hit the, hit the bar and he put a good cross in for and Gustav almost got on the end of it as well. Right, well, we certainly won in terms of hitting the bar today anyway. And the post, like I said, the woodwork was, was rattled so many times throughout and, and disappointed for the boys because they thoroughly deserved to win that match. Uh, but like I said, we've had five wins previously where the standard has been good and I thought we raised that in that first 45. Uh, but listen, as I said, always ways to keep getting better and that's what I want from them. And just finally, still unbeaten, I guess you'll take that confidence into Cambridge next week. Between now and the end of the season, not just Cambridge, and we spoke at the end of the game that, as I said that earlier on, that template of the first half is what we are. That's what we're all about, both in and out of possession. And we must drive that standard every single moment till the end of the season. And I won't let up on them. You know, this has just come to the end of the season and we come off it in any way. No, we're going to try and get better and better. And as I said, we've got great momentum now. So long may that continue.